Hello to each and everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka lang sa aking channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button para ikaw ang laging update. Today, we're going to discuss about the permutation. Permutation with a distinguishable and circular permutation. Let's proceed to distinguishable permutation. When I say distinguishable permutation, the number of permutation of n things where a things are alike, b things are alike, and c things are alike, and so forth. So we have here p is equal to n factorial all over a factorial, b factorial, and c factorial, and so on. This n refers to the number of things where a and b and c and so on are the alike things, okay? So let's proceed here. Example number one. Find the number of distinguishable permutations of the letters from the word basketball. So if we're going to count the letter here, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we have 10 letters in the word basketball. Next, identify natin kung ilan yung magkaparehas. So, letter B, we have 2, 1, 2. Letter A, 1, 2. And letter L, 1, 2. Okay, wala namang kasama, wala namang kaparehas yung iba. So, never mind na lang. Counted na sila dito sa number of N. So, we have here the formula. So, P is equal to N factorial all over A factorial, B factorial, and C factorial. So, we're going to substitute. See, n is 10 factorial all over first, 2 factorial, another 2 factorial, and last is 2 factorial. So, simplify this. 10 factorial is 3,628,800 all over 2 times 2 times 2. Since 2 factorial is equal to 2. Simplify, it will become. The denominator is 8. Then, we're going to divide this. The answer is 453,600 ways. Okay, so I hope nasundan nyo siya. Next, another example. Find the number of distinguishable permutations of the letter from the word Mrs. E. Okay, so... Count natin nila. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So, 11 letters. And, the alike, yung mag, may kaparehas, count natin. Okay, so we have I. 1, 2, 3, 4. S. 1, 2, 3, 4. And P, we have 2. So, if you're going to count this, 2, 4, so 4, 8, 10, and pa 11, N. Substitute so, natin dito sa formula. So, 11 over 4 factorial, 4 factorial, and 2 factorial. So, it's the times mo yan lang. So, sinuptitute ay sinimplify na natin. Ginamitan natin ang calculator. So, we have here. 11 factorials is 39,916,800. Then, 4 factorial is 24. So, another 24, then 2. Simplify the denominator, there is 1,152, so 24 times 24 times 2. Then divide natin ito, 34,650 ways. That's the answer. Next, another example, number 2 example. Find the number of distinguishable permutations of the number 822. 821172. So we have here the total numbers is 9, and we have 8 is 2, 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 is 1, 2. So pang 9 yung 7. So digit natin, so 9 factorial all over 2 factorial, 4 factorial, and 2 factorial. Simplify. 9 factorial is 362,880 divided by 2 times 24 times 12, by times 2 rather, 
divided denominator that is 9 to 6 so 362,880 divided by 96 is equal to 3,780 weights next so we have here another example nauna na to so we have here 10 students are going to the food station to get their meal in how many ways can they be arranged in a row in the food station if four of them wear green t-shirt three wear blue t-shirt and three wear yellow t-shirt so we have here n is 10 okay so we have green is four so nauna na siya kanina blue is red at three and yellow is three okay so given the formula so we have here 10 factorial so over 4 factorial 3 factorial and 3 factorial so 10 factorial is 3 3 million 600 all over 4 factorial is 24 3 factorial is 6 3 factorial is 6 so simplify the denominators so we're going to multiply 24 times 6 times 6 is 864 so divide this 3,628,800 divided by 8,864. So we have here 4,200 ways. So let's proceed now to circular permutation. So under circular permutation, we have three classifications. If the clockwise and counterclockwise order can be distinguished, then the total number of circular permutation of n elements taken all together is we have p is equal to quantity of n minus 1 factor so p4 permutation and n is for the number of elements so next is the clockwise and counterclockwise order are not distinguished and the total number of circular permutation of n elements taken all together without clock we have here so divided by one that and if with lock we're going to n factorial over two okay so we're going to discuss this three let's proceed first in number one example in how many ways can eight people be seated at a circular table we have p is equal to n minus one then the quantity of n factorial so we have n is 8. So 8 minus 1 is 7. Then 7 factorial is 5,040 ways. So we have 5,040 ways for 8 people be seated at circular table. For number 2 example, in how many different ways can 8 keys, keys be arranged in key rings? So we have this. And substitute so natin 8. So 8 minus 1 is 7. Then divide it. Oops. 7. Okay. So 8 minus 1 is 7. Factorial all over 2. 7 factorial is 5,040 divided by 2. And the answer is 2,520 ways. Next. In how many ways can five rows be arranged in a ring? So we have five rows going to arrange in a ring. So there is the formula, and we're going to substitute the five rows. So five, the element is five minus one, so that is four factorial all over two, and four factorial is twenty-four. Then divided by two is equal to twelve ways. Next example. In how many ways can 5 bits be arranged with lock? So we have here, P is equal to N factorial all over 2. So P is equal to 5 factorial, yung bits natin, 5. Then 5 factorial is 120. Then 120 divided by 2 is equal to 60. So we have 60 ways. Okay? So I hope nasundan nyo siya ang circular permutation and the distinguishable permutation. I hope kahit pa paano ay may natutunan kayo sa aking video. 
and that it's for today so see you again in my next video thank you for watching bye bye